Hi everybody, how are you doing? This is 50 Sunshine and back at you again with another tutorial for Hyperspin. In this video we're going to be setting up TurboGrafx-16. This was a request from one of my commenters on one of my videos. He requested TurboGrafx-16 for my next tutorial. I was going to do um, PlayStation 2 and the Wii and GameCube, but for him, I'm going to jump right into this one. Now, first thing that we're going to want to do is that we're going to want to open up our web browser and Google we're going to type in magic engine 1.1.3 okay which is right here and we're going to go to the first one magicengine.com we're going to click your language preference mine is English and you're going to go right here version 1.1.3 hit PC save now you're going to open up another window go to the hyperspin which I have right here you're going to click on hyperlist if you're not aware on how to get to the module section you want to go all the way well not all the way down you want to go right here download this one which is right here for me the HK file version 1.1.3 for the magic engine click download now and we're going to click on save now this is kind of tricky because this took me a while to figure out how to do this part now usually when you implement an em, uh, emulator into hyperspan these are the only things that you need but for turbo graphics there is some there's an extra program that you have to download so what we're going to do is that we're going to open up a window go to your download section and we're going to right click and go to edit script now in there you see this right here there's no mousey this is a program that you need for turbo graphics so they give you the link in the HK file which is beautiful so we're going to copy this link right here and we're going to paste it into the web browser now voila and we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the thread not the whole entire thread just this post right here and we're going to hit download and we're going to save it all right now that we got all of that done we can close out the browser close out the script and voila here are our beautiful programs and files right here now what we're going to do is that we're going to go right here I gotta remember how the heck it's spelled, but I believe it's like this. Like, what? I'm gonna rename the HK file to Turbo Graphic Space 16. If I didn't spell this right, it's gonna tell me because I can't remember exactly how it's spelled. I'm gonna leave that name right there. I'm gonna open up another window. We're gonna snap these to the side because it's easier to work with. You're going to go to your hard drive, your hyperspin folder. Because remember from my last two videos, this is where we installed it at. I'm going to go to emulators. I'm going to create a folder called TurboGrafx. So I'm going to just copy this name off of here. I'm going to go new folder, paste the name. And then we're going to create another folder in here called ROM files. All one word. ROM files. There we go. Now, where's TurboRack? It's over right here. And in here, this is where we're going to paste this program. So we're going to extract it here because there's only one file. Well, three. No, oh, I failed two. So we're going to just take this PSC, drag it over here, and drop it right there. Now we're going to go back to the emulators, ROM files, new folder. Turbo graphics. We're going to take your ROM. My ROM is on the desktop. So I'm going to go to the desktop real quick, grab my ROM, drag it right into the ROM files folder. And we're going to go back and we're going to go to modules. We're going to create a folder called Turbo Graphics. Boom. Open it up. Go back to our download section. 
we're going to grab the HK file, drag that in here, extract the no mousey program. Yeah, you can do that. Take no mousey, drag it in here. Go back to the hyperspin root of the folder. Go down to hyper HQ. Launch it. Voila, there we go. Wheel settings. Go all the way down to turbo graphics right here. Now, this is a new, it's supposed to be hyper launch. Okay? Maybe a lot of people got confused by that, but I'm not sure. I sure know I did the first time. Hyper launch, yes. Open up the executable. We're going to find that's a negative. Hard drive, hyperspan, emulators, turbo graphics. PSC, ROM path, open that up, go down, hyperspin, emulators, ROM files, turbo graphics. Okay, extension is ZIP, ZIP. All right, that's taken care of and that's done. We can exit out of here, I believe. Yes. Now, so that's done. We're going to go to the emulators folder. And what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to run Turbo Graphics first so you can set your settings up. So go to Turbo Graphics, hit the PSC.exe. All right. If you wanted to run a full screen, click full screen. You know, this right here is your input settings for your uh, for your what you want to use for your game controls. And this right here, say no because if you you unclick this because if you don't, every time you launch Turbo Graphics from Hyperspin, it's going to give you this Magic Engine setup right here. So you don't want that. Then after that, click OK. Now, I'm about to exit out. It launched the game just in case you didn't see the, the full screen just now. Just in case you didn't see that and it went black on you, that's what happened. <laughs> All right. So I don't want you guys to think I left you. So now, this is only for the video purpose only. You don't have to do this, but I'm just doing it. Go back to the root of your hyperspin folder. Matter of fact, let me go back in here. Now, I know it by heart. So go to databases, turbo graphics. I'm doing this because this game is not in here. It's not in the database already. Or well, if it is, it's named something weird. So I'm just about to edit the database so I can launch this game so y'all can see it. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go and we're going to copy this section right here. Copy. Now, delete everything else because I don't want it. I'm about to paste this in. And I'm about to close this script out with menu. And change the name of this to what my ROM is, which is Dracula. What is it? Dracula X2, I think. I don't know. But if it is, all right. Do the same thing right here. Dracula X2. Now save. All right. Now let's now let's go to hyperspin and we're gonna pray that this works. All right. Hyperspin. I'm sorry if you can't see it. I truly apologize. Because I know y'all probably get it. Dracula X2. You see it right there? Like I was saying, I don't know if you heard me because of the, oh, the sound effects. I do apologize that you cannot see the full screen when the game launches. I, I really do apologize about that. But if you guys can give me some type of hint on how I can record hyperspin in full screen, please let me know. Because I know a lot of people really want to actually see it work, so they don't think that I'm bluffing. So, we're about to launch this and see if it works. And voila, guys, it worked. I'm looking at the game right now. It's some weird looking Mario Super style thing, but exit out. Alright, there we go. Right here, guys, we got Turbo Graphics 16 working in hyperspin. So, 
let me know which what's the next console that y'all want to see you know for me to set up um like i said i was going to do playstation 2 the wii and gamecube the wii and gamecube runs off the same emulator so i might do like a part one part two video you know one for the wii and one for the gamecube um ps2 that shout out to fifth dread because again he helped me out with that ps2 had my head spinning but all right guys until the next video this is 50 sunshine thank you and thumbs up so everybody else can see this leave a comment down below what the next tutorial should be and take care guys be safe